Hi, this is Patrick Everson for Covers.com, coming to you from the Aria Sportsbook right here on the Las Vegas Strip. Always a pleasure to get back here and speak with Jeffrey Hoos, who is the manager of this great establishment. Jeff, let's talk a little early week baseball this week. Start off with the Cubs Nationals. It's Monday morning as you and I speak. They've got a four-game series starting today. Yes. Game two Tuesday night, that's what jumps out to me. You've got Arietta for the Cubs going against, excuse me, Scherzer of the Nationals. Nice catch there. Uh, these two pitchers have similar records, but they're not pitching similarly, are they? No, they're not. Similar record, 7-5 for Arietta, 8-5 for Scherzer. But Arietta's ERA is over four, double that of Scherzer's. He's, he's having a great season, for sure. He's been excellent. A whip of just .81 going into this one against the Cubs. All right, very good. So what do you expect to see in betting between these two, te two teams for, for game two? Do you expect, I mean, the Cubs obviously have a huge national following. Yes, huge national following. Game over 500, not a great team this year thus far, right. but they're right in the thick of a weak division race. Right. Nats running away with the East, 15 right. over 500 right now. It's rare you're going to see Arietta getting big plus money. You may tomorrow. If you're a value-based better and you can see a plus number next to Arietta, it might be a spot for you. All right, very good. Let's move along. Royals, Tigers, three-game series starts Tuesday. Kansas City red hot lately, 11-3 in their last 14. Not a lot to say about the Tigers, but, but what I was curious about with Kansas City is when a team has been struggling through much of the season and then they hit a run like this, how long does it take for betters to get on board and what do you expect in this series? Well, they get on it pretty quick, and betters love a streak, and they love betting the hot team, and they love going against the cold team. Mm -hmm. If you're one of those betters, this is a series uh, really for you because you've got uh, the Royals, who are surging of late. They have right. a winning record for the first time since April. Mm -hmm. And the Tigers lost eight in a row before yesterday. They won a game in San Diego. So you've got a team surging and a team in free fall. That said, Tigers, despite their obvious struggles, mm -hmm. I work with a lot of Michigan people, I hear all about them. Right. Still have a winning record at home, whereas the Royals still just 16 and 19 away from Kansas City. All right, all good points. All right, let's wrap it up. Angels, Dodgers, they got kind of an interesting week this week. It's a home and home interleague series. Two games in Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium, and then they hit the highway for just a little ways away to play two games at the Big A. The Dodgers are just horrid hot right now. Yes. How do you expect betting to go down in this series on an already very public team? Well, you said it. They are hot right now. The Dodgers are on fire, 15 out of 16. And the lines have moved to make public support you've mentioned cost, pro cost prohibitive. Mm -hmm. The Dodgers are a minus 240 favorite this evening with 37-year-old Long Island Ducks alum Rich Hill on the mound. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Patrick. I used to work in the Atlantic League, right. and I never thought I'd see the day when one of our pitchers was a $2 favorite, Chavez Ravine. <laughs> And do you think that's, how do you think it'll unfold for the week? Will it be Dodgers betting all four games, even, even on the road? It's likely, despite the fact that historically the Angels have been the better team in that series. All righty, very good. So there you have it, folks. A look at some early week baseball. Thanks a lot to Jeffrey Hoos for his insights. As always, fourcovers.com. I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter, at Covers.